All right, so I went to 2024 CES. I do and cover consumer electronics and consumer goods my entire life. Right? Or what did I think the best new things at CES 2024 were? Well, let's go through them because I think everyone's gonna be curious. What should I be getting? Or what should I be expecting? And what should I be saving my money on? Because I don't wanna waste money if something better is coming out in six months, maybe a year from now. So let me go through them. My favorite, and this is probably the one that everyone was talking about. So if you guys are watching right now, what is next to me here is gonna be a wireless transparent television from LG. So LG is the manufacturer of OLEDs. Everyone is going off of OLED and moving to mini LED, like Hisense, Sony, Samsung, including LG. But this, that is the, that is actually a transparent TV. They put a black screen when it is on full black video mode so that it is not gonna be completely uh, transparent. They have to do that because otherwise it's transparent. You'll see exactly what's on the other side. I'm gonna fast forward just a little. This is exactly what it looks like in real life. It looks like a 3D holographic projection, except it's a television because everything is transparent. It still has to draw electricity and that's gonna be somewhere on the bottom, somewhere they connect it to a wire, but it is wireless transmission. And this is where it's really cool. As I turn and you guys can see exactly how it looks when I turn, it is completely flat. There's nothing on the other side. This, this is the future. This, within five years, should be in almost every home. Because this material is gonna be about making everything a little bit smaller. Now, I don't think everyone's televisions are gonna go that way. The biggest drawback comes down to three things. First, I was like, I got a kid, right? I got a two and a half year old. It's transparent, it's thin. What if they throw a ball? Oh, your TV's broken, <laughs> there it goes. Second, it's transparent, so you have to have a black film that can go up and down. That means it has to be, has to, it basically has to have a base because it has the feed power. It needs the feed. Somehow it's gonna have a base box and it's gonna have to be stable. So you have to place it on something. So there is gonna be a box. There was a box at CES that's gonna be the main power box and it just goes up and down. It's like a hybrid projector, hybrid this. Look at this guys. This is what it looks like on my phone. The, look at the, you can see the people behind, right? You can see the people behind. This is recording. This is Thursday in Las Vegas at 12.47 p.m. That's not real. That is a video projection. That is a video projection. Watch this video projection, guys. Bananas here, it's gonna go bananas. Changing colors. I'm gonna get it closer. Look at that motion blur. You can see the entire audience behind you. What? What? Guys, that's the future. This is the future. Imagine watching a movie like this. Imagine surprise birthday parties like that. You just imagine you walk into a store and they have screens like this. It's gonna be like winter wonderland, candy land. It's just like another transportation into some hallucinating uh, dream world. This is that technology. now. So, this is the future of that technology. I showed you how the application applies if you're gonna use it in your home. But the real application of this is that it is a touch sensored display. This is a touch sensored display. So as I use it, as I use it, and it permeates into society, into the retail stores, like you walk into a Target, you walk into the supermarket, you go to a Walgreens, they're already trying to imp implement this. Why? It's kind of dystopian because all the windows and doors, all that wasted bulletin space can continuously be updated and then be controlled by touch. Yes, watch what she does. The sensor inside of it, that's a touch. And it's completely flat. There's a base inside the table though. There's a base inside the table, but imagine that's how they're gonna do it. They're, it, it doesn't just stop here. This doesn't just stop here, right? The next wave of this is that here's the ad version of it. This is the ad version. Imagine you go to a bakery and you see your Starbucks. Imagine that application in a Starbucks. What? It changes. You could change whatever you're doing. You don't need to write it and it's completely thin. So all the displays that you get at the, for your store, all the 
refrigerators, anything glass. They're gonna start thinking about how to make the power supply and wireless smaller so that they can continuously implement this into our regular lives. So more ads at the store, less at home. That's where this stuff is coming in. So other thing, the other part of it is that really, really wealthy people in the beginning are probably gonna use this as window treatments so that you can make your room, change the overall design and the feel of a room while having windows. While having windows, you just change the window and then it changes into something else. That is the future, right? This is the tech that is suddenly now becoming part of our future. Two years ago, didn't exist. Today, it exists. It has to be transparent and wireless for it to work this way. All right, guys, so I'm gonna to continue to share more of the special stuff that we saw there. So if you're wondering what do I think is gonna change the world, the toilet. 2024 is the rise or the beginning of the change in your toilet. Guys, how many times have your to toilet changed in the last like 50 years? Be honest with yourself. If you're gonna make a house, if you're building a home, you're probably looking at a toilet that has a better flush. You're not really looking for like a long base or a wide base or a short base toilet. Maybe something that has a double flusher or water efficiency. Let me share with you the toilet of the future. This is the toilet of the future. This is the micro dot technology that you would find on a BMW. It can change color, it can change design, it can match your home. But this has a auto sensor open, auto sensor close, bidet. It has sensors to heat up the seat. It can raise and close the seat, not just the overall seat, just for men. It can, this is the new toilets have been engineered to be better for men. Now, let me share with you just a new YouTube short I just posted. And this is why, this is why, let me share with you. We will share. So this is my video. So well, I'm at CES 2024 and this is the coolest thing you're gonna see. It's pretty cool. So you just pull it you and it's gonna it? open so and close. You just walk away. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stand in front of it and it's just gonna open like, guys. Uh, on a can you open it? Uh, yeah, so we'll let it power down here. And I'll just walk up to it. Oh. Oh. So, and then for guys, you, know, you don't always want to sit down. So there's the blue light off to the side. Just break that blue light with your foot. And it'll raise and lower the Warm, rate. heated seats, guys. So put that back down. The day do function sit, built in. Sit down on a nice, warm, heated seat. Front wash so or a rear wash and a dryer that's, that's inside in. the seat. I need to do it with this remote where I've got a front wash, a rear wash, and a dryer. Or I can go on my phone where I've got the, I can just water temperature, water pressure, seat temperature, etc. Or maybe I want to be totally hands free. And then with the Alexa module. So this back, toilet Alexa has trailer. Alexa built in. So if you're like, I want to flush the toilet, right? You just say, Alexa, flush my toilet. Boom. Alexa, Alexa wash my booty. Boom. It is the future. Now, remember, why they made this toilet is not for women, they made it for men. This is a toilet that is very, very difficult to pee all over. It is actually trying to save marriages. That's why this toilet exists. Not because people were clamoring for a better designed toilet. It is because women and men have been fighting over toilets since the dawn of creation. This is the dawn and the invention of toilets themselves. So here, you never have to, if you're a guy and you are sick of hearing, you don't put the toilet seat down, you peed over everything, you don't flush, you don't wash your booty enough after you, after you use the bathroom, you know, just random things like this. If you're sick of hearing that, that's this toilet. And it fits the design scheme that your wife might like, but then you're like a win-win. I don't know the price of this. Just remember, and so all of that design that you see, those are screens. You guys see the visual display? It is moving. There's lights built inside. And it opens and closes and does everything else. Like it, it basically is the toilet of the future. You guys are saying, why do I think this is a theme? Because Kohler made the best toilet that I saw, but so many toilets, I've never seen so many toilets at CES. It was like the year of the toilet. So if everyone's making toilets, that means everybody's like, you know what, the, the toilet is the new market to go to. Toilet is the new market. And so what did, I, what did I read? What did I find? Another really cool thing that I want to share with you from CES. So Samsung had their whole thing. I'm going to share with you with the Samsung. This is something called cold snap. 
This is what it looks like. Now, you gotta get it, gotta just get, remember, this is coming from a can. This is coming from a can. You just put it in three minutes later, you see that little bar on the top? It's gonna spool up, and then when it's finished, it just starts dispensing. Similar to a fountain machine, like a soda maker or a coffee maker or an espresso. What this is, it's kind of very similar to a Nespresso. And there we go. That's how it looks when it's making your ice cream three minutes later. So the thing about these new televisions that I want to share with you guys is that they've been getting better and better. So this is a Hisense U8. This is not the most expensive TV you can get, but many LED televisions are bypassing OLED. Sony is moving off. Well, they still have OLED, but they're going to mini LED because they can have so many local dimming arrays and local dimming zones. It used to be like you had 100, 200. These are now coming with 30 to 40 to 50 to 60,000 local dimming zones. It's very similar to OLED. And is it, a, is it a television or is it a picture? Look at the quality of this Hisense TV. My point here is if it looks this good on their best panels, and these the top of the line panels are still consumer entry. These are consumer, I wouldn't say entry, but not the most expensive. These are still like, premium but not the best on the market for large this is a 4k uhd tv yeah this is not even the most expensive look at the quality guys the future is already here now how do i know this you guys are gonna say well that's a lot to say right that's a lot to say is because of this is because of this if you guys are looking at this video here that television i have it on my iphone that tv is actually fake. They that TV that you see right there with that tunnel is the best television that money can buy in today's world. That TV on camera looks identical to a actual moving video. So, let me show you why and important why that is the case. Here we go. All right, let me show you I didn't take a lot of videos with this phone, but I took that one. Here we go. So this is what it looks like. That is actually what it looks like when you're filming with this television. There is no motion blur. It is perfect contrast, perfect black. It has no reflection. It is the ultimate way now how they are actually shooting TV shows and movies. Guys. Mandalorian shot with this. Let's wrap up with some of our continued favorite, favorite things that I saw at, the, uh, at CES 2024. Walking assistance. This little device is RoboCop. How do I think about it? What do I think about it? Why? Because my mom broke her ankle like two years ago. She still can't walk. You will never recover from this. You're 67 years old. So what was a big theme this year was assistance or adaptive tech for the human body. He is wearing that brace. It relieves 20% of the pressure that you are placing on your knees and your hips. So it might not be important to someone like you or for me, but for someone with poor knees, poor hips, poor bones, osteoporosis, this is amazing. And you can start buying this. This is supposed to come out like the end of the year. I will be on the list day one for my mom because she's having a hard time walking. Having this assisted device, instead of a brain, they build up the muscles in the back because they can suddenly walk better. And having that extra support allows them to have better performance, gain more confidence. And if you have more confidence, it's, I'm not a doctor, right? I'm not a doctor. I can only tell you what happens or what's, what I'm experiencing with my mom. If they have more confidence, they're more likely to go out, exercise, which means they're gonna be walking more, which is just creating the virtuous cycle. Because mobility goes down, it makes a vicious cycle where the mobility keeps going down. Increasing mobility improves brain function, according to doctors, and improves life uh, quality. So that's why I think these mobility devices are really the future, especially on this walking assistance. Here we go. This is uh, what they're considering the next level of gaming for gamers. This is actually stalker for drones. I know, I, I was so confused by it. So they, they told us a story that the Harry Potter, or the originator of this was a Harry Potter fan. And if you go, they're gonna launch them. Do you guys see that? I'm gonna go back, okay. 
So if they launch them, they just pop off the ground, right? They start activating. They're like, ready, set, go, boom, oof. And then you guys see that? I'm gonna, let me just turn on the sound here so you guys can hear. This is what it sounds like. This is what the drones sound like. I have a little bit of the background music from the drones. And the whole game is that you have like blockers and you have strikers and the, those one of them is going to be on the other side of that ring and they have to go through the ring while the other drones are trying to block it. Now, as this is my first time seeing it, I was quite confused at the beginning and then I was like, whoa, this is pretty exciting. And then they do it in rounds. They keep playing rounds. So would you watch this? Would you, would you watch this? I guess a lot of 20 countries are watching this already. No physical, at least no real physical um, physical activity needed. You just need to use the remote and have a lot of good focus and good vision. But they're coaching. A lot of people are coaching out there. Guys, this was something that's coming, not right now, but they are thinking, really thinking, and this has actually started because Amazon and logistic companies, they keep having to get so many vehicles. They're thinking about making modular vehicles. This is Kia. Kia had a demonstration. So first, imagine a van. Your van can become a cargo van, it can become a pickup truck, and become a passenger van. So, what does that mean for you? This is going to be pulling out, and I'm going to fast forward just a little bit. As you can see, it's pulling out. Now, it's going to be switching out with a pickup truck. Yes, this device is going to become a pickup truck. So it's going to bring it in. As you bring it in, you see that pickup truck. You have just converted this vehicle into a pickup truck. So modular car design, they're saying, is now going to become suddenly more popular. Not just, not really for consumers, because where would you keep the other parts of this, but for businesses. And as modular car design becomes more prevalent, what about this? What if I can get a pickup truck that can change into a regular passenger van? I would take that in a second. Why? I have a Toyota 4Runner because it acts as a pickup truck that I can also move people in. It is more, I don't really need the pickup truck because it rains where I am, but I, this is for real. This is actually happening. I mean, people are coming up with these ideas all the time. Another cool tech, you can grow food now. There, this is also gonna be coming. The Aero Gardens were using water. So now the new technology is that you grow your food using air. That is using air, air, steam. It is, cook, it is growing lettuce, so you will grow lettuce You'll grow food with air. This is the new technology that they're also bringing out. And the final thing I want to share with you guys is, you know how we love our coffee makers. We do big on coffee. Well, guess what? AI coffee is here. AI coffee. I, I, would not, I don't know if it's going to work. Do I trust it? I don't know, guys. But would you drink an AI coffee from an AI coffee machine? Would you use an AI vacuum cleaner? We already do. Would you use an AI camera? We already do. Would you use an AI phone? You already do. Would you use a lot of AI? You already do. All those ads that you see on social media. AI, baby. So remember, AI was the prevalent theme in 2024, but, or it will be the prevalent theme in 2024, but in my opinion, what the biggest inventions or the biggest new tech is gonna be toilets. Definitely toilets. It is definitely gonna be um, just how AI integrates with your home tech less about having matter and more about implementing AI into your home. They want you to be more connected because your overall environment is connected. They want you to be less connected to your phone. And I think this is gonna be a big theme of 24. Less phone, more environment. So we'll see if that's actually gonna happen. I don't know, but all this tech just makes me think we can go outside for a walk and just experience life for what it really is. Here is me at the rocks. Surprise, people, surprise. Vegas is not just casinos. Vegas is a lot of red rocks and beautiful scenarios. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. We will get back to you. And please hit that like and subscribe button below. It really does help support our channel and help us make better content. And with that, and those were my top consumer tech trends for 2024. I had a blast making it and I hope you enjoyed too. It's just a little scary knowing that you're going to see a lot more ads. I hope not, but I really think we will. So with that, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye, bye, bye.
And that's a wrap for CES 24 this year.